So what are we attempting to do today, James? We're attempted, attempting to sail to Morton Island. How far is that? 24 k's in a straight line. So this afternoon we'll set up camp and cook dinner and stay on the island and we drink brandy and smoke cigars. James is just uh, making a few calls. We're pretty loaded there, you can see the um, one more barrel and a fishing rod to go on there. And then we'll be heading over to those islands over there. What have you got to say to the kids out there who might be watching this and thinking about, you know, adventures and following their dreams? I just encourage them to go for it. Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nice, uh, beautiful day for sailing. Yep. What's that you're drinking there, James? Just some scotch. So we're both a bit drunk. <laughs> but, um, it doesn't seem to be affecting our performance. Where are we again? <laughs> Why don't you keep, keep filming and just sort of jump off or flop off? I'll pretend I haven't seen, I'll just keep sailing. Yeah. And from then your viewpoint, you just see the boat <laughs> getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. And then I won't come back. You what, James? Big shark. I think it was a tiger shark. So we just saw um, a very big shark just come across in front of the boat. And He's uh, following us. Cruise along next to us and then turn around in front of us. Well, I think there's some, I think they're shadowing us. I can see dark shapes. If James was just saying there was a shark, I basically wouldn't believe him. But I definitely saw a big shark going right in front of our boat. So the, I don't know, after the sharks, I feel like the atmosphere has become a bit tense on the boat. Um, you know, we, we might find that the enemy is within. We don't want to go in the water. I, I'm starting to find, I don't know if it's the sharks or the lack of water or just the, the grinding sort of time but I'm starting to lose patience with James a bit and um, get a bit angry at some of his habits, keep steering the wrong way and stuff and so you have to see that plays out. Look at him back there, he's bloody hardly doing anything, just sort of, I don't know, like he's probably fine but I'm just getting angry at him. So we'll see see what happens over the course of the next little while. Anything you want to say, James, you bastard? Sometimes, I wonder. Sometimes I drive you to the brandy. Exactly. <laughs> this is our brandy. James is going to be ready for another brandy in a minute. How many brandies are you going to have tonight, James? Um, I reckon I'll have three brandies. Three brandies, hey? Yep, and a cigar. Yeah, three brandies and a cigar. Sounds like the good life to me. Smoking is a safe alternative. The nanny state. <laughs> Here it is. Break it out, dude. Brandy and cigars. Here's yep. the brandy. Have There's we got a health cigars. warning on the brandy as well? We should do. God, yeah. We need to be protected against ourselves. That's right. We are our own worst enemy. Yep. Luckily, the government knows what to do. <laughs> it's a hard thing for a right winger like James. Miles, he wants to break free. He wants to. Miles quite loves seeing warning his... labels and. <laughs> I'd like to see more things closed and banned if possible. Yep. James just wants us all to be able to live by our wits. Exactly. We don't want to see bullshit like this. No you way. You know what Annabelle said? What? By law, they're supposed to put each cigar in one of these bags. They weren't really supposed to put two in one bag. So what's happened? How come oh, that's got through? Oh, they cheated. Fuck knows. I mean, I know you're outraged by that. Stick that in your gob. <laughs> no, you don't. <clears throat> oh, man. Mate, this is really getting tense. Uh, have a have a swing at you in a minute. You don't know, just lighten up. God knows where. Next time, I don't think we should bring so much chocolate. I will just end up eating it all and feeling sick. Oh, well, you need something to keep you going, mate. Yeah, but you've eaten like ten percent of the chocolate. No, I've eaten heaps of it. No, no, no. Had no. a big slab. No, you've had a tiny slab. <laughs> I'm feeling sick as well. No, I'm not as sick as me. I'm feeling pretty sick. Got some more bread. 
tensions rising again. Brandy. There could be violence before the evening's out. What? Over the chocolate issue. Oh. You want more brandy? Brandy? Yeah. yeah. Mate, the tension's really growing. <laughs> you stop showing that thing in my face. We're trying to get ourselves sorted out here and oh, it's Ooh. um that's not good. No. Nah. Could Pretty far turn from good. very ugly. It's a very small tent and um, it's a blind. very hot night. <laughs> oh no. I knew it was gonna end up like this. <laughs> James is Next carrying on know, like a mad man. Next thing you know, the flaps are all. Oh, it's it's oh. going to be the call if it's too hot to wear clothes. <laughs> Just wait. Oh. It is very hot in here. So um, the plan is to get up at 5:30. James, James has set his alarm. I haven't actually. No, oh, James. Mate. He's going to set his keep, alarm in a minute. Why do you keep trying to blame me for stuff? I'm and, not um, Oh, you just poured sand on me. What's sand? This could get very ugly. Mate, you're wanting it to get ugly. Very soon. <laughs> Been a few, um, shall we say, small disasters this morning. Tell us what's happened. Well, uh, while I was packing up the camp, while you were... Going to the toilet, I packed the sunscreen. Oh no! Not realizing that um, you're the only one that hadn't put it on. So, what did I have to do? Well, while I was making you breakfast before I was packing up the camp, when you were getting into the brandy, I put the uh, sunscreen on myself and I neglected quite a lot of brandy in your uh, while you're still in your sleeping bag. So, unfortunately, I packed it and yep. uh, then while I was bringing all the barrels down here, you complained and I had to uh, get you sorted out. So um, I've been been wearing that ever since. Okay, we're away. Say goodbye to Morton Island. Bye, Morton. Woo! Mate, perfect conditions for sharks. You're doing well, Vanny. No, you're doing well as well. I know you had a knock to your confidence over the sunscreen debacle. Yep. But um, you've come back well since then. Thanks, mate. Don't be down on yourself. Just. Okay. Back yourself, okay? That's going to be the um, the motto of the trip on the way back. Yep. Back yourself. Yep. Well, once again, uh, the winds have died off. The tensions are building. James and I are constantly fighting. I've just put on some music to try to steady everyone's nerves down a bit. And what a song it is. So we'll see what happens. It seems to have calmed James down a bit. He was in an absolute fury a minute ago. I'm feeling better now. He, he, he's, we put a bit of sugar into him as well. That seems to have helped him out. He, he was getting seriously stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since we spotted that dugong. Well, you made it, Vanny. Yeah. How does it feel, Cobber? Oh, good. Yeah? Yeah. Everything go to plan? Yeah. Yep, anything you want to say? No. No? Want to do a joke or something? Um, no? No. No. Good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. I think Australia congratulates you on following your dreams. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's sign off. Mission, mission complete.